Hello and welcome to the latest installment in the Guns and Gear Review Series. So not that long ago, I got my hands on the KWA Glock 26, and I made a little reveal video talking about it, but now we're going into the official review, so I'm going to cover all the details of the gun, and uh, what I've done in the past is I compare it to other KWA Glocks, so my Glock 23 will compare it to this one a little bit. So I got this gun for 120 bucks on eBay. It is the full auto KWA variant. The non full auto variants, the regular 26s, are uh, KSC, which is made in Japan. The Japan versions. So most of them will come with plastic slides, the KSCs, but the KWAs come with just an orange tip, no trademarks, and full metal slides. KWA decided to include a 19 size magazine with a really ugly uh, grip extension which just throws the whole look of the gun off so for the majority of the review this will be out of the picture so um yeah this comes with it I dislike it real quick though I'm getting a little off topic like I usually do it looks really cool when you put it in a 19 I just thought it looked cool like that. So if I had a, a 17 size mag, I'd put it in this gun and it would honestly be kind of badass. But we're focusing on the 26. So it comes with one 19 size magazine. And um, the only places you can buy this pistol anymore are from Airsoft Global. They sell it for $118. The, they only have the KSC version, which means the the well yeah KSC is Japanese but it's the metal slide version so Taiwanese version so um yeah there's a lot of different types and uh, different models but um here we get a look at the specs so the magazine is 20 plus 1 and that is the small magazine so that's the 20 plus 1 and the length is 170 millimeters they didn't put the barrel length and the uh, muzzle velocity you see right there 210 to 240 with the point twenties. Only other place I found it for sale would be Tiger 11 HK. They have the KSC metal slide version right here. Barrel length is 73 millimeters, and this one comes with the small magazine. And they say it has 15 plus one. So I don't know. They're a little off with their uh, thing, but the KSC version has these trademarks. Some of them will say either Australia or mil spec, like this one does. But uh, KWA ones, which is what we're looking at here, doesn't say anything at all, except for the serial number. It's the only markings the pistol has. It actually has the uh, spaces for markings right here, but they're just blank. But I actually prefer that for KWAs. So if you're watching this, you're probably thinking about getting a compact size pistol. Now, um, this gun is the smallest of the available uh, Glock series airsoft guns. They don't make the 30 or, or anything smaller that's come out recently from Glock. But um, the 26 is about the smallest Glock you can get airsoft wise. It's good for fitting in your pocket, but I recommend the uh, non full auto variants for that so that you don't have anything hanging up on the sh sharp ejection port. Or no, just the sharp port cuts and then the selector switch. Doesn't make it very good for concealment. But um, the overall size, it's super small. It fits in a pocket really well. It fits in jeans, but it's painfully obvious that you have a gun in your pocket. Really quickly, I'll go over features. It uh, functions like a regular Glock, so, you know, the trigger is in the firing position. Yep. So everything pretty much basic Glock stuff till we get into the full auto stuff. Um, another basic feature is that it has the regular Glock style sights made out of ABS. Um, the nicest thing about KWA sights is that they're interchangeable with real Glock sights. So the full auto variant. Right now this is semi. You have to pull it back in order to move the switch otherwise you risk damaging the weapon. This is safe which just lets you pull the trigger all you want. But you need to put it into safe in order to disassemble a weapon, which will happen later on in the review. Then, all the way down is fully automatic. And yeah, that's about the gist of how to operate this gun. has a slide catch, but um, since the slide catches on Glocks are pretty uh, prone to failure in airsoft because of the built materials, 
I recommend you power stroke them. Works pretty well anyway. Since this is the 26, it is so small, it does not have a rail on it. It's uh, just smooth right here, and you'll notice that uh, the front of the slide kind of is concave so that it fits into pockets better. Also, the uh, guide rod is this bigger plug style, and I think it's made out of plastic, actually. At least the front part is. But um, it's a different recoil system than regular Glocks. It's a little funky looking. Also, the barrel is ported since it is the full auto variant, kind of like a G18 is what they tried to do here. And then the indentation in the slide just like a G18. Um, otherwise, the full auto ones have this little dot in the back, which is only for full auto. So that's what's going on with the pistol. Now some differences I would say from uh, my Glock 23, which is kind of a standard model for a KD Blade. They're, they're in circulation around. A lot of people sort of have them. So comparing it to the Glock 23 from KD Blade, um, this one is a lot more rattly. Very rattly, actually. It just seems like um, the barrel tends to wiggle around a lot more. Not a big issue with me, but I will say one thing is that sometimes it will not fully go into battery. It might go about that far back. Or that far forward, I should say. And a slight tap right there should do it, but even then I think if you manage to end up doing this, if you pull the trigger, nothing happens. So. It's a slight issue, but I think some lubricate, uh, if you just lubricate the weapon, everything should uh, function normally. But, um, yeah, a little more wobbly than than the 23 and the 19 that I've handled, but uh, I don't know. Should be okay. Another difference from r the rest of Katie Way's lineup is that it has the trigger pin right there. There should be two of them like uh, the standard real Glocks have, but this is the only one that I've noticed has that extra pin right on top because the other ones just have one pin. Some differences from other Glocks is that the thumb groove is actually a lot bigger and it's pretty comfortable. Um, of course, like any Glock, it's on both sides. The um, grip texture is kind of rounded off right here. It's kind of cool and there's only two finger nubs. Uh, nubs opposed to uh, three from the 19, the 23, and then the four from the 17 and the 18, or the 34. Um, the back of the back strap is actually um, rounder. It's a much more rounded off compared to the other ones because they go further down. So you can see there's quite a difference right there. Um, there's no hole in the back because I don't think you would be able to put um, like, a, like a counterweight or a magwell on such a small gun. It just doesn't happen often with a the concealment guns, they're just blank as they are. Any bits and bobs that make it too hard to conceal. Um, like all KWA guns, at least the KWA is not the KSCs, at least I don't think, they come with the blaze orange tip on the actual slide. Um, it's kind of hard to get off, I just recommend um, air power tools or a lot of sandpaper, some strong sandpaper, because it's um, this, this strong um, orange, almost laminated paint, then white paint underneath that and then the black paint and then the bare metal so um yeah um the paint is really really nice considering I got this gun pretty much brand new yeah if you're gonna do this you might end up with a ugly looking front of the gun and you might have to repaint it but I've decided not to do any painting to it at least yet because I think the black paint is just really nice on this gun I don't wanna redo it with some shitty Walmart paint like I did to the Novak <laughs> Like any Glock, it is impossible to use it without the ejection port or, or the chamber becoming very heavily worn. But um, this one seems to be holding up quite well. Here's an example of Glock chamber wear. Um, all KWAs, for some reason, they do not come with the trigger safety in the middle, but um, they, they sell them aftermarket on Airsoft GI, so I plan on picking up three of them, two for my guns and then one for the Zodiac's gun. So that was the the majority of the pistol itself. Pretty small, fits in the pocket pretty well. 
really well built because it is the KWA, the old KWA Glocks. So, um, here's the magazine it comes with. I believe this holds uh, 20 rounds. I'm not exactly sure. I'll just clip it in in the video because I never actually count the BBs when I'm putting them in there. But um, the paint job on this one is very, very new. I've never actually seen a brand new KWA Glock mag before. But, um, yeah, it's pretty nice. It uh, sticks out too far. I don't know why they didn't just include the uh, 26 size mag. I am going to get the 26 mag off of eHobby Asia for 30 bucks. Quite a lot, but uh, I do want to be able to put this in my pocket and actually be able to have it fit. So it's a standard KWA size. It's a standard KWA Glock magazine. So um, everything is pretty much the same except the paint is probably a bit better. Um, this is an NS1 mag, but the KDWA G26 looks like it came with an NS2 high, wait, what is this called? High flow valve. You notice high flow has a little button in the middle, and this one is just a full size button. This one has like a little dot in the middle. It's just the only way I can really tell between the high flow and the low flow magazines. Um, feeds from the top, which is made out of metal. The whole magazine is made out of metal, and so is the follower. It locks on the bottom, and then you fill it in through the top, get a perfect feed, and you hit this little square button, and then it'll come shooting back up. Don't recommend you release them with no ammo, because it could damage the top of the magazine. Um, it has a standard ABS Glock style uh, base plate. You pull up on this, pretty much, or down if you're facing up, obviously, and then it just slides right off, so you can replace these or take apart your magazine. There's two pins there you would punch out to get to the inside. So that is the magazine. The 26 of course is compatible with every single Glock size magazine there is to offer it. So I forgot to mention this part but the slide is made of aluminum the barrel is also aluminum. The two sides are ABS plastic. This bag piece is plastic or ABS. The frame is ABS. Slide release is steel. These pins are steel. The slide takedown or slide lock is, I believe it's aluminum. The serial number plate, I believe, is just plain aluminum. And then this part of guide rod is ABS. Wow, I th I'm pretty sure the rest of it. I think this piece is plastic, and then this piece right here, the long skinny part, is probably metal. The inner barrels on Glocks, they're always silver on the KWAs for some reason. I'm not sure if they're aluminum or not, but uh, for now I'm just going to say they are, because that's how they are with every single KWA model I've seen. They have a silver inner barrel. Selector switch is made out of aluminum, and since this is a brand new gun, it moves really well. It's not trying to come out like other full auto guns do after a while. Full auto KWAs. Example right here is that this one is just really shitty right now. It won't even fire full auto actually. It's kind of bad. But um, yeah, I, I recommend you never switch it while the slide is forward or you'll just damage it and pretty much ruin your gun. So the hop up is located on the inside right here. It's kind of hard to see but you need one of these keys to do it. And then you align these gear teeth with this like wheel in here and then you turn it around and stuff. My hop up's already set so I'm not going to mess it up. But you put it into the chamber and then you would rotate it and that is how you adjust the hop up on a KWA pistol. I think this goes for all KWA pistols pretty much. Which is better than having to take them completely down like you do on other pistols. So the serial plate says DEA 147 US Drug Enforcement Agency is what that stands for. Um, the 19s and the 23s they all say COP 471. So I just thought that was some insight I'd throw about KWA pistols and their serial numbers. Now, for comfort, this pistol features regular pistol grip style texturing, square grooves texturing for the fingers, a full texturized back strap, serrated slide lock, 
serrated, well, this is a slide lock and it's serrated and serrated uh, slide catch. Serrated magazine release made out of polymer, standard to Glock. And then serrated trigger, standard. Serrated uh, uh, front of the trigger guard, which I always say is for holding like this, so you can, you know, put your finger there and shit. And uh, natural polymer texturing all over the gun. Serrated uh, back of the gun for if your gun doesn't fully go into battery. I assume that's why it's serrated, so you can just push it pretty much. At least I believe so. Um, regular serrated slide, you come to expect, and that's about it. Um, and the selector switch has a dot for indicating semi and two dots for indicating fully automatic. Okay, so basically that's the whole gun. Let's take a look at the inside. Oh, and I found my magnet, so really briefly. Steel. Yeah, those were steel. Aluminum. 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 And we'll test the inside once I get it apart. But this is how disassembly is done. You switch it into the middle, which is safe. And you pull down on your fly lock. And it comes right apart. So let's take a look at the lower receiver. A little dirty, probably should clean it up. But um these are the insides of the G26. Pretty standard to KBOA's design. I don't think there's anything special except for a full auto sear. But you can see the whole slide lock or slide, yeah, slide lock is uh, made of steel. There's your trigger bar, also made of steel. And then your hammer, uh, I think parts of this assembly are made of steel, but I think the hammer itself is made of zinc. If this breaks on your old KDWA G26, well, just an old KDWA Glock, it could be replaced with the new ATP from KDWA. Overall, this piece weighs, oh, damn, this piece weighs about two to three ounces. It's very light. Now we're into the slide of the pistol. Here you can see how your full auto works. It's not the best design because I've seen this this system often fail with full auto KDB clocks. But um yeah, these are the insides. This is your nozzle, and here we get to the G26 specific recoil spring. So this could be replaced for a more enhanced one. But uh, it's a pretty cool design, especially made for the smaller pistol. So then here's your barrel. Um, barrels come out just like the real Glock. So there it is, and then inner barrel. And the actual inner barrels, and I never mentioned this or showed this in reviews before, are gun specific. This one actually says 26C on the inner barrel. So just some insight to KDWA Glocks because I love me some KDWA Glocks they're just really nice really fun guns to shoot and really well built make sure it's still in the position of halfway might shift on you if you're not careful. And the gun is back together, just like that. And I do a. Oh, did I nick it? Oh, I did. Fuck. Oh well. Eventually, this gun, after enough nicks, will get a shiny new paint job, but for now, I'm a little pissed that I scratched it. But yeah. This has been the review of the Glock 26 from uh, Glock 26C from KWA. Very nice compact size pistol. Originally, I wanted the Glock 26C from well from KWA because sometimes KWA has the actual uh, semi-automatic version, which is what I wanted. I 
I wanted the semi-automatic version because I wanted to be able to put it in my pocket without having to worry about a full auto switch getting in the way, but I just settled for this one, which was not bad because it is literally brand new, which is hard to find. Um, the best way you can get your hands on these is literally just to rebay like I did. They're, they're starting to become very rare. Uh, i only seen the G26 on eBay uh, about twice this year so far, so yeah, they're kind of hard to find. That has been the review of the KDWA Glock 26C. I hope you enjoyed it.